So I'd like to call uh, Murli sir on stage. Sanat sir will join us in five minutes. He's actually gone for a live telecast. So he'll come in five minutes. And we'd like to call the master. For all of us, he's just the greatest of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Sachin sir and Murli sir on stage. Big round of applause. <laughs> Photograph in a bit, yes. Sachin sir, how do you handle... So, I, I, everyone narrate a story, I also narrate a story. Thanks to this hosting for 10, 11 years, over a period of time I've been meeting sir. Just every single time I get so excited when I see you. How do you handle all these people getting so excited from age of 5 to 75? How do you handle it even now? It's a blessing. First of all, I'm, I'm here to wish my very, very dear friend Murli uh, all the very best because this, Thank this you. movie, this biopic, people need to know what happened in his life. I, I remember meeting him the first time in 1993. 93. That sounds 93, ages yeah. ago. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we continue to be good friends. Coincidentally, I was... I was in Sri Lanka mm. just last month for UNICEF work and uh, I messaged Murli that I am in your beautiful city. Where are you? <laughs> he says, I am in India. What are you doing in Sri Lanka? <laughs> and that's how, that's how, you know, I am here. He spoke to me for the first time about his biopic and uh, he said, he, would, you, would you be able to come for the event? said any time for you. He is so humble, hai, itna simple hai, in spite of achieving so much in life. It's impossible to refuse him. So Thanks. I said, I'm, I'm going to be there and that's the only reason I'm here. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Murli, sir, you've always had this smile on your face. You've always been a smiling assassin. You know, the poor fellow is smiling at you and the wicket is out. But <laughs> generally speaking, you know, your rivalry was legendary, of course. So you had the two gentlemen in that time that were Brian Lara sir and Sachin sir, the two, two greatest of all time. But you were like the common factor in the middle for everyone. It's almost like, you know, the world was always against you and you, you put on the TV at 9 o'clock in the morning for the test match, you're bowling. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you're still bowling. Even if the rain has gone, you're bowling in the nets. So first, before I ask anything, how were you this machine who was able to bowl forever and ever and keep bowling all these overs? How? Before, first of all, yes. thank you very much uh, because coming for me and supporting me and also, you know, because I, I am also a fan of him, more than a, a colleague and a friend and uh, more than a fan of him because, um, you know, that what he has done in cricket, nobody could do because it is impossible to generate even another hundred years, nobody can come like him because it's, it's, it's a fact because, I'm not because of saying my friend, because it's a fact because when someone get 15 years, a first class hundred, it's impossible. In 16 years, 17 years, you're getting a test hundred. It's also impossible. So uh, you have shown the way of billions of people how to play cricket, how to be humble like him and I've seen more cricketers. He's the most humble person in Indian cricket. Few words and uh, with the friends, is is enjoys, but few words with everyone. So I think um, he's the best forever because in an, another Sachin Tendulkar won't be born in, 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 this, in this entire That's why they universe. call him the master. Until my life <laughs> finishes, right? So, that, so, um, for your questions, uh, what are you asking? I forgot so about forget you. it. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was very simple. Yeah. You yourself, sir, are the greatest of all time from that side as well. You know, I, I have to say this. You know, we were always gunning for you when you were not playing against us. I hated you when you were playing against us. But otherwise, you just kept on and on. You were like a lone. Like how Sachin, sir, at one time was probably one of the only people. You know, if he got out, he switched off the TV. I'm sure with a lot of Sri Lankans across the world as well. If you were bowling and you know, if you had a bad day, they'd be really disappointed. You were carrying the shoulder, I mean, uh, you know, the entire Sri Lanka team on your shoulders for so long. Just talk about that experience as well also, because you're, in many ways you're very similar. So two things, uh, I know Sachin was carrying same way, of, it is harder, because batsmen all have one chance. 
So one mistake, you're finished. Bowler can do many mistakes, so I have a better chance of succeeding than him. I'm, I'm still waiting for that juicy half fall. He has never bowled that to me. <laughs> so, so it was uh, difficult, but thing is, you know, because to carrying the whole team, because the reason was uh, Sri Lanka was uh, not a great side uh, when you when I started because then only it became slowly became because legends like Sanat and Sangha to Mayala to Arjuna Aravinda all came that when, when we are playing Hava era. So that's why I think uh, at the time bowling wise because see I took a lot of wickets because I am bowling one side <laughs> because somebody has to yes, take sir, wickets, yeah. right? You are very, other, very modest, other, sir. No, and Vas, Vas and me yes, to yes. bowl because didn't have much. In later later stage, only the bowlers came. Yes. So I had opportunities, a lot of opportunities. The pressure is high. So that pressure because you, if you enjoy the game, uh, you don't think about the end result. Mm. And you just want to just at the time, at the person, who am I bowling to? On your day, you might beat that person. But some days, that person will beat. So you have to accept it. So I think I accepted and always didn't get upset getting you know, wickets or not because keep a smile because I have to enjoy the game. So I will advise any cricketer rather than thinking about performance, just go and enjoy. Be, be great for the God because you are given the participation is more important than uh, having succeed. So I think. That's the way it is because I lived in 18 years in Aust 16 years in Aust 10 to 12 years in hostel. So that was given me a thought that you have to be like you know sharing and be happy every time because there are a lot of problems you'll have, but still you have to be happy. So that's why it could that teach me to how to play cricket uh, in the latter part of it. So what do you think made uh, Murli sir great? You know, when they say that there's something that is always there, you played against the greatest of you know all of the bowlers. Uh, what made him so special, even while you were playing? Because I remember for a long time, Murli sir used to only bowl the incoming delivery. Eventually, later on, you developed the other bits, and we saw that just with that one ball also, he used to keep on at it. So, what was so great about Murli sir as a bowler? See, just now the way he answered that earlier question, that if uh, an individual is not going to appreciate for what one is able to go out and do, how would the rest of the world appreciate? And that is what mental strength is all about. There are not going to be uh, good times every time you go out. There are going to be ups and downs. There are going to be disappointments. But from those disappointments, how do you rise back, get on your feet and start competing? That makes you a real sportsman. And exactly that is what he possessed. He, like you said earlier, that you know he just loved bowling. But the whole world knew that he had a big turn. I mean, you make him bowl on a expressway, he is going to turn the ball. <laughs> you know, no matter how the surface is, Murli is going to turn the ball. And uh, he did not rely only on that. Just with that turn itself, he was a dangerous bowler. Because they, in our meetings, we would discuss uh, hours on end, how to tackle him, what are the signals to pick, all those things. But he kept reinventing himself. No, so the signals, the, I want to the, ask you. And you said in an interview how you used to read on the hand. Uh, I'm still figuring out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, I, I will say. No. See, definitely, uh, see, uh, some players read. I know he, he read me very well. Right, uh, not many people can do, but Lara had success, but he never read me also. Really? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> because I don't know what what uh, mechanism he did, uh, but um, he read me, yes. and also few people I know, I know uh, Rahul Dravid is one of the greatest players. Yes. He never read me. Really? <laughs> I knew, I knew that. No. I knew. So Sachin always, Saim and Shevag. And uh, those players in Gambir are like the players. Some players read, some players even lay, sometimes they play on that. So it's it's definitely definitely I am saying um, uh, he read me. Few people read me, and even even in my team, some people read and some people doesn't because some some are playing ways are different because uh, legend like him he watch from the seam of the ball from yeah. the hand itself. Some people doesn't they do the pitch. Of the pitch. Yes. And that's where he was, yes. So, when 
like he said that very few few guys read him but in that also he wanted to develop more things you know and and uh, if i'm not mistaken he developed dusra in the late 90s yes much later yes yeah. and uh, the story that i heard through harbhajan yeah. was isne dusra dalna to bahut pehle sikha tha magar wo net mein practice kare ja raha tha so for 18 months he continued practicing dusra in the nets before he bowled the first ball in international cricket and that the reason the reason for that was that he should not lose his original strength the qualities that he possessed while continuing to bowl well in test cricket in that you continue also to develop new things introduce new things because you have to like i said you continue reinventing yourself like how bowler is reading batter's mind batters are also trying to figure out what the bowler is trying to do so the combination and to then plan this execute consistently outsmart batters is not easy and that is what we experience all the time <laughs> oh, oh, oh.